Horton, Tracy. Look at this bling. I know. I mean, you're taking it to a whole nother level. If you have to have one, you might as well bling it out, right? You may as well. So you have had quite the story. I mean, you were kidnapped in a car at three, was it? Correct. And then had two car accidents. Correct. One that you were able to walk away from, one that left you in a wheelchair. For 11 years. 11 years. Combined. And now you're walking again. Yep, I stood in 05, I went to two crutches in 06, and now I'm down to one blind one. <laughs> That's amazing, amazing. Yes. So what do you attribute it to? Uh, faith, for sure, and yeah. a lot of hard work. I yeah. think your positive attitude, definitely, because everyone has change. That's the only thing constant in life. Yeah. And I think we all have a disability. Mine's just visible. Yes. So it's all your perspective on how you look at it and how you decide to react, I mean, to respond, yeah. not react. Did right? you ever believe, when you were in that wheelchair for 11 years, was there at any point you believed you were going to be in it forever? No. Okay. So even from day one, day one, year two, year three, year seven, year eleven, you were still believing that yes. this was not permanent. Never had a doubt in my life. That is amazing because most people by that point would be sort of like, well, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Even the doctors after a year and a half, yeah, like getting reality. And everyone's talking, yeah, negative and making you think that you're crazy. Yes. So that was you said. had to keep that faith and belief. Yes. that you were going to be able to do this. I would look at the card and it said practicing medicine. I'm like, I have something higher than that. So I never really believed it. And I, I just knew it at was... At the doctor's card? Yes. Practicing. So you'd be like, all they're doing is practicing, practicing. medicine. Practicing. Yeah. But I know better. Exactly. I've got a higher power. Absolutely. And that's bigger than a card. And it was when it was the right time. And I believe yeah. everything happens. You touch different people in different areas. I've been able to have kids. I've been able to, you know, be the advocate for people with disabilities. Yes. You know, winning in the first wheelchair... I was Miss Black California in my wheelchair competing against able-bodied people where they said, you can't compete against able-bodied people. You well, need look how beautiful you are. Thank you. I can't, so I'm not, not surprised only that, that you won. Right, well, I appreciate it, that. you have more inner beauty than most as well. You just got a double dose. Yeah, <laughs> maybe that. because you have so much inner that you got to have extra on the outer. Yeah, I guess I have too. So what do you think if people are out there? I mean, I do a lot of interviews with people who've been through abuse, uh, kidnapping, domestic violence, eating disorders. And how do we move forward from that kind of tragedy? You know, when you're in that state of trauma and grief. Absolutely. I was actually assaulted in my chair. So all those things. That's why I love speaking because I'm sorry. So yes. you were assaulted, raped, yes. abused in your wheelchair. I was. So and you've it, been through all of these accidents, all of this trauma, and that has to happen on top of it. Absolutely. Did but that I still feel floor blessed. you at the time? Those are the hardest. My, well, the three. My mom passing because I had no control over it. Yeah. Being raped in my chair and being assaulted in my chair because I didn't have any control. Like yes. everything else I thought I had control over. Yeah. So what I finally realized is, although... To everybody else, it didn't look like I was giving an excuse or blaming because that was my MO, no excuses. Yeah. But internally, it did. It kind of ate at me a little yeah. bit. But when those things happened, I realized I had to take responsibility. I couldn't start blaming anybody else, even internally. Like, yeah. I didn't tell anybody else I was blaming yeah. them, but internally. And I was left homeless in a wheelchair with my twin boys when they were five weeks old. Wow. And that was the finally defining moment when I said, you know what? I can't, if it's not for me, I have to do it for them. Yeah. And so I think sometimes if it's not your reasons why, maybe it's for something else, something charity you're really yeah. involved with or you know you want to change something or a parent or a child whatever yeah. that when you take it off of you and you become bigger and it's about more than that then yeah. you stop focusing on everything that is wrong with you yes. you know and so at that moment I said you know what that's it and that's when you know first black Miss, Miss America yeah. disabled you know started my business couture crutches and made something positive couture out of it couture crutches I love it <laughs> check it out yeah, so it's interchangeable <laughs> So that you can be blinged out. Oh, you can change your bling? Exactly. So what's your favorite yes. color bling? Oh, this, of course. This is it. Yes. The diamonds. Like exactly. But you have like red bling and, and red and black and sports and leather and feathers. Leather. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Well, I have a friend who has the most advanced bionic arm okay. in the world. He lost his arm. Right. And one of the things with him is he actually said, I said, what would you tell your 14-year-old self? And he said, I'd tell him you're going to get a really cool arm. And so there are some gifts in our disability sometimes because it's taken on him on this incredible journey. Absolutely. So what has been the gift for you in all of this tragedy? I think um, just to make the best of every situation and then for my children. Yes. One of their best friends is autistic. They see no color, no lines, no disability. They just, everybody's everybody. And so to have them have that wide mind space of anything's possible and not to prejudge or judge people has been the biggest gift that I could give my kids. Yeah. And um, to show them that anything's possible. It doesn't matter how bad it may seem or how long it may take. Go to therapy three times a day. Push it, whether it be your sports or your school or whatever you're dreaming to be. And so the biggest gift is what I can pass down to my children.